The operator of the destroyed Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant says it's found the latest sources of water leaks. They are at seven locations in a barrier that surrounds tanks holding contaminated water. Tokyo Electric Power Company officials said they confirmed on Sunday that water had leaked from the barrier near the number four reactor. It's one of 30 barriers in the compound. The officials said about 19.2 tons of water leaked. They believe it seeped into the ground. They detected 23 becquerels per liter of radioactive strontium-90 in water still inside the barrier. The level is below the national standard for the discharge of contaminated water into the sea, but is 2.3 times the standard for discharging from the barriers. Heavy rains last October caused the barriers to overflow. That prompted the utility to raise the height of the barriers. The officials said the leaks occurred at connections between steel plates used to raise the height of the barrier and from where piping was installed in plates. Japan's nuclear regulator is surveying faults at the Kashiwazaki Kariwa nuclear plant. The nuclear regulation authority will be at the plant in Niigata Prefecture on the Sea of Japan coast starting from Monday. Tokyo Electric Power Company requested the safety screening ahead of plans to restart the plant's number six and number seven reactors. But the authority asked TEPCO to conduct an additional survey. That's because there are 23 known faults underneath reactor buildings and other locations. As there are 23 known faults underneath reactor buildings and other locations. The authority and other experts are spending two days determining the adequacy of the operator's plan for an additional survey of the faults. The experts are inspecting the site of a large-scale pit. They'll also examine the compound's terrain and geological formations. New regulations ban the building of nuclear reactors and other key facilities above faults that could move in the future. TEPCO believes there's no possibility of future fault movement at the compound. TEPCO believes there's no possibility of future fault movement at the compound. It expects the new survey will likely take several months to complete, but that could prolong the authorities' safety screening. The utility is estimating its finances on the assumption that the plant will be restarted in July. The policy chief of the ruling Liberal Democratic Party says the government and the party hope to decide on a new basic energy plan by the end of March. Sanae Takaichi made the remark during an NHK TV program on Sunday. She said the LDP has promised to create a suitable environment for restarting reactors when the Nuclear Regulation Authority confirms their safety. All 48 commercial reactors in the country are currently offline. The Japanese economy is recovering thanks to the Abenomics. If stable supplies of electricity cannot be secured for a reasonable cost, companies will avoid Japan and people's daily lives will become more difficult. The Trade Ministry is expected to submit the draft of a new energy plan to the party in about one week for discussion. But some lawmakers from the ruling party said greater use should be made of renewable energy. Others said a plan should be drawn up to completely phase out nuclear power in the future.